What is a structural hinge point? Um, basically, you can see right here if we had a hinge, like a door hinge, on the wall, we could actually move it back and forth. And uh, here's where it would go the other way. So any break that you would have in a wall, uh, continuous break, can create a weak spot in a wall that would allow it to move. Let's take a look at a two-story home and see if we can uh, provide you a little more clarity on this. The wall framing plates will connect to the floors and the floors provide us with a nice solid structural plane. So we are not going to have any hinge points at the bottom or top plates here until we actually get up to the roof framing is the only um, bracing the only brace that we have for the entire length of this exterior wall is this one wall here and uh, and that's not good over here we don't have a lot connecting to it so this right here is actually a hinge point unless we put additional bracing on um, attach it to the roof trusses which there are going to be times when an engineer will call out for flat two by fours, uh, maybe eight feet long, and then they'll want them spaced four foot on center. And these two by fours will, will attach to the top of the roof truss um, ceiling cords. So they would, they would attach to here, and then this is going to provide us with additional bracing. But I've seen plenty of homes built like this before where they only have one wall connecting everything, holding it together, and uh, nothing ever happens. These houses never fall down. But I have actually seen walls where they have a heavy load on them, and they will start to buckle. Here's one way to fix something like this. That would be to install a wall stud, full-length wall stud, um, at certain intervals. Uh, let's just say 32 inches on center every other stud or every third stud, something like that. The repair I made, I remember the engineer called out for full length wall studs every four foot on center. And um, that seemed to uh, really strengthen the wall up. So uh, you would just simply cut the, cut the plates or cut whatever and put the wall stud in there. And this uh, should provide you with some nice support. What you would do in here to add straps or something like that, obviously an engineer might have more insight on that. Um, but you get the general point here, a full length solid wall stud would definitely stiffen this wall up. You could always use, if it's two by fours, you could always use a three, three by four or a four by four on something like this if you were looking for a little more support. Here's our last example, kind of the same uh, framing. We have a beam here instead of two plates. And I think a lot of people think that a beam would eliminate the um, hinge point. And that's not necessarily going to be true because the hinge point would be sitting on top of the beam or it could be the um, break between the wall studs. Any one of these breaks could actually create a weak uh, spot in the wall. By installing a beam, you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, maybe I can reduce this. Maybe you can reduce it, but uh, you might not be able to eliminate the hinge point. Um, this isn't a repair that I've seen by a structural engineer, but I'm throwing it out there because it's something I think might work. You could always install a strap on each side of the wall stud, um, maybe every 32 inches on center, something like that, or alternate the straps, have a strap on the side of one stud and have a strap on the other side of this stud to strengthen it up. So this is just a repair that I haven't done myself, but sometimes when I get uh, into the drawing phase of these videos, I uh, come up with some things I haven't seen before. And uh, so this might be uh, another way that you could repair something like this. The reason why I made the video was because uh, an individual emailed me and wanted to know if they could remove um, the bottom 18 inches of their walls that were damaged uh, and um, simply build another wall an 18 inch wall an 18 inch high wall that would connect to uh, let's just say if it was an eight foot um, total wall length 
then um, you would have two separate walls there. One would be 18 inches or one foot six inches, and the other would be, I believe, six foot six inches. And uh, if you did something like this, you would actually create a hinge point in the wall. So if you're, it, that might work for small repairs, but it's not going to work for large repairs. So something like, like, like that might work in a wall less than four foot um, because, as I was showing in the previous example, um, the engineer called out for bracing um, every four foot or additional wall studs. So I'd imagine a, a repair like that less than four foot might be okay. Anything um, longer than that uh, could create a uh, problem for the home. Don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button if you like the videos and um, it is off to the next one.